Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbird. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us, we have the Avica model, model number XSY299. This is an AM FM NOAA weather alert emergency radio. I got this off Amazon for $25.98, and here's the box it came in. SOS siren, flashlight, reading lamp. Uh, there's a picture of it. Um, it has a really big battery in it, um, so it's touting 5,000 milliamp hour. That's what caught my eye. That's why I bought it. Um, and let's, well, I tested it, and it did well. We'll talk about it. Emergency multifunction radio. Yeah, we figured that out. Reading lamp in action. That's really nice. Looks just like that. Color chart. You can get the different colors. Some bullet points. Upside down with a sticker on there. There you go. So let's go ahead and, oh, here's the back. A little paragraph if you want to read it. Okay. Some pictures of some disasters, which I don't want to be in. <laughs> okay. Took everything out of the box. Let's show you what I got. First thing I get is a micro USB cable. This is to charge the radio and, of course, to charge external devices that utilize micro USB. Pretty simple. We've seen those before. User manual. Let's show it to you real quick. Just go to the specifications, pretty much what we're going to look at, but we'll just show the whole manual in case I missed something. It's all right there for you. User manual. Belief introduction. There you go. Belief. Okay. And operation. I'm sure you can read that if you need to. Yeah, let's go to that specification page. Bring it up here. There's your band information. Dimensions, weight. Uh, 340 grams, okay, IPX3 rated. I have no idea how resistant that is. It doesn't seem like it's very high. Um, there's the power source, 5,000 milliamp hour, and uh, it's pretty much dead on or actually a little reserved. I might actually have tested it a little higher. Uh, it runs an 18650 battery, so there's probably two of them in there. I'd like to see that. Nice. There we go. There's our manual. Let's get to the radio. Now, the radio is red, so you're not going to see it too well on red. <laughs> so I'm going to bring in this so we can see a little contrast so you can see the radio so let's uh, get this centered and let's do some dimensions okay so our length is five and a half inches across our height is two and a half inches and our depth is two and a quarter inches that includes the dynamo crank on the back that's what's causing the radio not to lay flat but to tilt forward not a bad deal you can see it like that um pretty neat setup i'll probably be holding it like this most of the time let me get this in the frame here here we go all right, so let's go ahead and do size comparison. Um, I always like to keep my radios on standby here. We have CC Pocket in the house. Yep, CC Pocket's a weather alert radio also. You guys know that. Yeah, definitely a chunky size radio, but actually very compact. Um, if you look at that, it's a very compact radio. Just wide to accommodate those extra battery. Uh, not a bad setup. Here we have CC Skywave. Give you an idea. Boy, it fits right behind a CC Skywave. Nice. And of course, last but not least, we have Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He loves Avikas from China Land. He's Iron Man. Ba -da -bow. <laughs> it's Iron Man. Okay, so you get the idea for a deck of cards. Uh, so yeah, let's talk about features of this radio. Um, the XSY299. On the front of the radio, we have a bright spot LED. This has a lot of throw to it. It um, has a really tight beam as you can see there um yeah it's uh, definitely for long distance not a bad thing to have like in that on the front of the radio we have our speaker that's rather tinny sounding but it gets the job done it's an emergency you just care about what's going on around you uh, this is one and a quarter inches this won't be like your daily listener for sure here we have a little button it says sos what do you think that does there you go a little siren there and a little flashing light nice get somebody's attention over here we have our dial am fm weather radio the dial isn't very accurate when i was tuning it but uh we'll show you the bands 87 to 108 on fm am says 520 to 1710 and the weather band is reversed starting at channel 7 going to channel 1 tuning indicator lamp a indicating lamp for the lamp that's very interesting a battery level indicator shows four bars when it's off 
it's doing that because the solar is picking up light. When you turn the radio on, those lights are on. Here we have the tuning wheel. We have a band select switch, FM, AM, weather band, and weather band alert mode. That's really nice. Over here we have a volume on off wheel. On the back of the radio we have the carry strap, which is very convenient. We also have a little jacket. This probably helps with the dust proof and maybe a little water resistance. Uh, we have the USB out feature, which I used, and we'll talk about that. Uh, there's the USB uh, micro in to charge the internal batteries and our headphone port. Now the headphone jack experience, it's not fantastic. This would be good for classical music, anything with mids or highs to it, no lows, stay away from anything with lows. It tends to distort on heavy bass. It's great for talk though, so good for talk radio. That's pretty much what you're gonna listen to if you have headphones on in an emergency. That's to conserve on battery too, to use headphones. Top of the radio, we have that switch for that light. Nice, nice powerful light. Um, I imagine these lights last a long time. Our solar panel seems pretty decent. Um, again, don't expect to charge the radio by that solar panel. It's just kind of there as a passive uh, charge. It's not going to do a whole lot. Mainly the dynamo is your friend. This reading lamp is actually very difficult to open. If I can get it. So a lot of times you'll bump the switch for the main light. So this reading lamp, here you go. The radio is built flat on the front, so you can just set it up like this. And then you can take the box, if you have it handy, or something else, a book, and you can raise the light a little higher. And now you got a nice reading lamp in the dark, nice diffused source of light. I like this. This is very nice. There you are. I think it's like, I don't know, six or eight. And there's two rows of them, like an LED array. Nice. Go ahead and close that. There's a switch in there. Now when the light's on, there's also that lamp indicator light. I don't know why they do that, but it's redundancy. There we go. Uh, top of the radio, you can see there's an FM antenna. This is, extends out to 12 inches and swivels, as you can see there. It's not bad. It did a decent job on FM for what it is. On the back here, we have the dynamo crank. Yes. Um, it has a nice little recessed well for the handle. And it's real smooth to operate. People like to see me spin it because they'll probably be using this. If you forget to charge your radio, you'll be using this. It's not something you want to use all the time. You mainly want to get a charge when you can, but it's there when you need an emergency. And to get those lithium batteries started. Um, so let's go ahead. I keep moving this little thing. Okay. Get that camera there. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about FM reception, and we'll do an audio test. So FM reception, I like to base it on a five-tier method, starting out as fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Most analog portables, such as, say, this old Panasonic, this rate's about okay to good on FM, which is about 48 stations found in my location, and that's very good. Almost all my analog radios get that FM reception like that, and it's a pretty good rating right in the middle, okay to good, two and a half stars. Uh, so yeah, something that to know. So with this radio, with its 12-inch antenna, little tiny antenna, I uh, was able to find 49 stations, which puts it right in that category, okay to good. And F F FM selectivity was okay to good also. Typically with these uh, DSP radios, I expect a little bit more, but uh, for that, that's not too bad. 49 stations, I'm pretty happy. Um, and it all sounded pretty good in this little speaker. Again, with music, heavy bass on headphones, it's probably not something you'll be listening to. But with the speaker, just trying to find information with talk, it sounds good. Uh, so that's the FM reception report. So what I'm going to do now is bring in, I have a C-Crane FM transmitter too. I have hooked up to an MP3 player. It's broadcasting royalty-free music over the airwaves. There's a little antenna to this antenna. And it'll let us uh, demo the speaker to give you an idea what it sounds like. And then you can compare it to my other videos to see how tinny it is compared to other radios. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn this on. All right, FM, we're going to tune it down. Pretty sensitive, it's picking up stations with the antenna down, it's nice. I heard Todderbert, let's see, bring it in. There it is. So we'll do this for a few minutes.
Okay, there you go. We got a little audio test. I'm going to talk about the battery, the power bank feature now, and uh, give you an idea about that. And then we'll uh, cruise the other bands. So let's see what's going on on those. So let me go ahead and turn off my MP3 player and transmitter. Okay, so this is touted as 5,000 milliamp hour rated power source. Pretty amazing when you get a sister radio here. Let me just show you the sister radio. This is a, a tie, this is actually Tamahoon. This is a, um, we call it Gear Test Submarine 1. This is also sold by Avica 2. I'll put links down below to it. This is a great radio. Um, the reason why I like this radio too is it has removable 18650. Only has one battery. Comes with a 2000 milliamp hour battery. Um, but for size, if you look at these two together, um, look how compact this is. So I could see the why people would like this red, uh, this uh, 299. I'm just gonna call it the 299 uh, because it's so compact. Um, and it's almost the same width and everything. So, and you're getting twice the power of that single battery. Uh, definitely heftier. This weighs a little more because of the extra battery. But uh, to be honest with you, I get a lot of extra power for it. So. If power's name of the game and no weather band's name of the game, this is the one to get. But we'll show you the differences here in a little. So let's talk about the power bank feature. I tested it with this one because it is touting a higher capacity, um, something you probably want to use to charge your phone. What I did is I had an iPad, um, 2019 version. Its battery is a uh, 8900 milliamp hour battery, 8900. And this was able to charge, this fully charge, this radio was able to, I got this little tester here I used. Just plugged it in the side here. Let me see if I can show you on camera. Um, I hooked this up and I hooked it up to my iPad and uh, I was able to record how much power this power bank delivered to my iPad. Let's just bring this in. So there you go. There's gives you an idea how that works. Shows you the voltage amperage out when you plug in your device. Uh, and it records uh, down here. I don't know what this is from something else, I think. But uh, yeah, it, it records and then you have that for future posterity. You can write it down. And it gives you an idea of what a fully charged radio will go all the way down to zero and what it charges the iPad to. My iPad was at 29%. It charged it up to 67%, which is a 38% increase, which is about 3,300 milliamp hours. That's really good. The meter said this provided 15 watt hours or 3,157 milliamp hours. So I would say it's right in line with a 5,000 milliamp hour power bank because the loss is there. You'll have a 30% to 35% loss uh, when you convert from 3.7 volts to 5 volts and you lose some in the transmission of heat because it does, this does get warm. It doesn't get hot, just this area gets warm because it's doing that conversion. Uh, so you lose a little bit in the heat in the conversion. So that's normal. I've noticed it with other power banks also. Then when this was all the way consumed, I went to charge the radio. I used my meter, of course, to see how much it would take, and it took a charge of 28 watt hours or 5,287 milliamp hours from the 5 volt line. That's pretty nice. That's leading me to believe it's exactly as advertised. Way to go. Loving it. I like that it's as advertised. <laughs> There's other things I've purchased that were not as advertised. So there you go. It's a power bank. It is great for a power bank, great for a flashlight so far. So keep those notes going, and we'll do final thoughts, of course. But let's go ahead and tune this radio. Uh, let's go to the weather band. So let's select it at AM, FM. So FM, AM, weather band. Turn this on. I'll bring my antenna up. Upstairs, I was able to get three stations. Down here, I think I get two. Patchy fog. Chance of drizzle and rain in the morning, then rain in the afternoon. Thank you to Chicago. Okay, I think we have seven. Let's go to seven. All the other way. These are easy to use controls, by the way. Waves one to three feet. Channel five. Waves two to four feet. Saturday. There's channel seven. Go into weather alert mode when you get a strong station. I'd pick the other one. I wouldn't pick this one. Uh, and if an alert tone comes through, the, let the radio will automatically turn on. And it's actually telling you that it's in alert mode by flashing this tuning LED indicator. I do like that. It's a nice feature. Again, really cool radio to have the weather band uh, weather alert. A lot of them don't have that. That's pretty important, um, I would imagine. But I think they can do that with this radio because it has such a large capacity battery. It can run on that alert 
quite a long time before needing a charge. So there you are. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to go to the AM band. Now, this radio on the AM band isn't good. Um, I'll be honest with you. This radio right now for 25 bucks is a bargain as a power bank AM, or no, sorry, FM, weather band, um, SOS, the different lighting sources. Um, it's a bargain for 25 bucks. But for AM band, you're just going to get your locals on the bottom part. That's all I could get. So let's just show you that real quick. Go to the AM band. We're at the bottom. Let's tune it fairly quickly. Don't expect to find much. There are some games you just it's tough, you know. Okay. All right. Thank you, Reese, for calling from Pittsburgh. So six seventy the score, Chicago. Carson Wentz is playing with the sliders all the way up. Like he's being destroyed. He's he's playing an all Madden mode. He can't get a pass off. Hundred percent tax write-off. Now is the time to make your business and building. Fire Seven twenty WGN. Fire sprinklers. The recent CARES Act allows commercial businesses and boycott against Qantas should it enforce such a ruling. Scott Mayman for CBS News, Brisbane, Australia. Save on remaining 2020 Cadillacs now at Heritage Cadillac. Drive a 2020. I think this is a 780. Um, this is time of day is 10.49 p.m. or 10.50 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago. Give me an idea. Let's see where I'm at here. Yeah, 7.80. I'll keep going real quick and then uh, compare it. Noises there. Uh, it could be this battery level indicator. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Seven five eleven fifty nine. This is John Greenhouse. And if your teeth are stained from coffee, tea, or smoking, power swaps is the answer. In five minutes, it's the first station I've gotten on top of the band here. Okay, so that's that's the deal. So I'm going to show you this real quick. Um, the same company, they sell this radio, and I'll link to it below. Um, if you want a radio more, more than a power bank radio, and you want it to work on all the bands, get yourself one of these. So we're on the AM band. I'm starting off in the middle here. Eternal lines. No. Oh, you know, seven days after the election. Although I don't think I ever saw one with David Nevin. iHeartRadio Earth and the National. So you get the idea. Tons of stations on AM. All the way to the top of the band. Okay, so yeah, they, they sell the same radio, I think, for like 16 bucks. Um, if you want a all-around great radio that runs on all three bands, pick this one up if you don't need a necessarily powerful power bank. And compact size isn't an issue because this definitely has the compact size going with it. Um, with some final thoughts, pretty much, but that's okay. Um, they sell this one, they have their name on there. They have a really pretty blue. Um, I really like it in blue. Um, and pick it up. This is great because I think I showed you it has a removable 18650. You can put a higher capacity battery. They only give you a 2000 in here, uh, I think. Yeah, they only give you 2000. But it's a flat top battery, easy to find everywhere. Um, they make flat tops up to uh, 3550, which is the Panasonic G cell, uh, which is really nice on a radio like this. But you're not going to match the power bank's feature of this up to 5000. Um, but you will have a decent radio. Uh, actually, a really good radio with a decent flashlight. On um, this flashlight's not as bright as the other one, but uh, it doesn't have a reading lamp. So just give me ideas for price. Okay, throw that out there. 
So let's have some fun. I usually don't do this. Uh, I'm going to do some FM band scan. Yes. Those who watch my videos know I don't do them, but we're going to do it with this radio. We got slow antenna. I am downstairs in the subfloor basement, so typically reception is not that great. This one does pretty good. So let's go ahead, bring it to the, whoops, bring it to the bottom of the band here, and we'll go to FM. And here we can pick up. That was a good pickup there. That's a, a faint station, low power station. But you can't get out of your car because you need to hear the rest of the song. <laughs> Radio. EWTN. Live truth. Live Catholic. My name is... Lothar entered self-quarantine after mixed COVID-19 testing result. ...that I'm going through right now. I've talked to her a lot about, like, my personal... So I was picking up quite a few stations downstairs here. Tenor Paul Appleby and pianist Ken Noda in a performance of rock from the chamber music. music first. Hey, I'm Bill Scott. Hello. Chicago's hottest country, US 99. We're almost done. Okay, so you get an idea on FM. Not bad. Does a good job. So let's go do final thoughts on the Avica XSY 299. Um, yeah, like I said, it's a really cool, compact weather radio. I really like the fact that it has weather alert mode. Uh, it does pick up my weather channels fine, no issue. It has a telescopic whip antenna, of course, reading lamp, a bright spotlight there in the front. I mean, it's an amazingly bright light. Um, the power bank feature is the biggest thing draw for me. It's 5,000 milliamp hour. Um, a nice compact package, so you got light, radio, uh, power, all in one little little setup uh, for 25 bucks. It's definitely worth it. If it had the AM radio working better, I would say it's definitely it was the be the bargain of the year because it's just so amazing uh, how well everything works on it. Uh, but for 25 bucks, if AM is not something you listen to, and in an emergency you listen to weather band anyway or your FM stations. Um, you'll be okay with this radio, and if light and battery power is important, like I said, this will charge an iPhone 12, no problem. Those batteries now, I read somewhere that they're like 2,800 milliamp hours. Like I said, this provided 3,157, and it takes, you know, my iPad took 3,300. So yeah, it can definitely charge a phone from empty to full. Um, that's pretty important to people, uh, especially uh, when power is out and they can't charge it with anything. They're not near an uh, automobile or, or uh, an outlet that's working. So definitely nice if you're off the grid. Um, I would say, yeah, definitely recommended by 25 bucks. But if tuning is your game for $16, oh, by all means, go grab the Avica version of this. Uh, get that blue one. I know it's a funky-looking radio, 
but it's a really good radio. I mean, it's FM is on par with this radio. Weather band is uh, slightly better, I think, on this radio. It's got a louder SOS mode, that's for sure. <laughs> and its AM band is fantastic. So if you're looking for a more of a tuning radio with replaceable cells, um, pick one of these up for 16 bucks. And don't look back. It's it's actually a really decent emergency radio. You could put anywhere in the car, to go bag, whatever. Um, you know, for that reason alone. But again, if you want something just all compact, ready to go, um, you're a, more of a backpacker. You might want this convenience of having multiple, you know, bigger power cells and a compact form factor. Then go with the 299. So yeah, you have options, which is great. I like to make sure you know. So I have links below to this radio and the other one you just saw. Um, and check them out because they're actually decent radios. Um, if I was to pick, it just depends on what I'm doing. Um, if I need power, I'm going to pick this one. If I want to listen to AM radio, I'm going to pick the other one. So if I need light, I'm going to pick this one. I love the reading lamps. This is a nice setup. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. Hope you liked this presentation of the of the Avica um, XSY 299. Give me a big like. You guys are the best. Um, two, if you like emergency radios and you want to see more um, featured, uh, reviewed, compared, uh, make sure you hit subscribe at the bell icon and get notified of future uh, reviews of emergency radios. And three, comment below what you think about this particular model. Um, is, do you think it's worth it? Um, with all the features I told you and what it can and can't do, um, Dynamo worked fine. Um, a lot of things work great, except for the AM bands. It's one little shortfall. Uh, it could be a big one to some people. Uh, to me, it's it's rather large because I'm an AM listener, but I have this radio. So <laughs> you could always have two. It's not a bad thing to have two emergency radios. One to dedicate to charging phones and possibly weather alert. And then this one here to do the AM listening. Because if you notice, this doesn't have weather alert on it. This one does. So that's, that's a nice feature. Again, i got to bring that up. All right, guys. Take care, and we'll see you in my next video.